The Bristol County House of Correction in Dartmouth is still investigating an inmate uprising last Friday that caused up to $200,000 in damages to two housing units. Sheriff Paul Haro said a small group of inmates were not happy with being moved to allow for changes to make the units more safe and secure. Those are the two reasons that we were shuffling inmates around. We wanted to uh, put toilets in cells, locks on doors, new suicide resistant beds, put the new admits in places. So that some inmates got in their head they wanted to uh, stay right where they were. And it doesn't work like that. These are people who are waiting trial. And they were also people who uh, were, you know, really, they were, they were tough inmates. These, these were not people who would um, be in there for like pre-release or anything if there was if we had some people in the in GB who were waiting trial for multiple murder charges a lot of recidivists it was it was a tough group to begin with the sheriff said once it was learned the inmates would not cooperate the correctional officers quickly secured the facility there's a red button the COs hit the button back themselves out and lock themselves in and what that button did was it deactivated the whole control panel had the COs not acted quickly and de um, uh, de deactivated the um, control panel. Inmates, 75 inmates from GB could have gone out into the courtyard, which is the aerial footage you saw from the uh, helicopters. They could have gotten out there and they could have also gotten on the roof. And so if the inmates hadn't been all contained and then we got our uh, large response of over 100 security officers from other parts of the uh, state, if it was just our staff dealing with that when it first was going down at 9 o'clock, people would have gotten hurt. So the COs shutting things down, backing out, and saying just you know cordoning off that housing unit, that kept us from having a true riot. Once the facility was locked down, the sheriff began communicating with the inmates. During this time, we were trying to de-escalate them, trying to talk them down, tell them we don't want anybody to get hurt. This could, people could get hurt if you don't cooperate with us. We want you to cooperate. We want you to go back to your cells. And so we, we were messaging to the inmates all day, we don't want anybody to get hurt. And by, by holding off, by being patient, if we had just gone in with the probably 20 to 30 security SRTs, a special response team, people would have gotten hurt. If we had just gone in with just the people here, we would have been outnumbered and that would have had to result in more force being used to subdue um, 75 inmates. Because when you are trying to subdue 70 and get 75 inmates to cooperate, when you've got uh, lesser numbers, you're going to have to use, uh, probably use force. The sheriff coordinated with the state and other correctional facilities to gather the proper personnel to put an end to the uprising. Public is watching. I said, be judicious with your use of force. I said, we're going to show force. We're going to show up with over 100 security staff. Um, we showed force by using CS gas and flashbangs, and that disoriented, or disoriented the inmates so that they could enter, the COs and security staff could enter and get past the um, barricades. And, you know, but they, once inside, the inmates basically uh, succumbed to, and they got down, they were handcuffed, they were brought out one by one, but for one person who resisted and you know wasn't hurt in that resistance, neither the COs or the inmate was hurt when that one inmate resisted, um, there were no injuries. You know, nobody had to go to the hospital. So, so, some people were sent to the medical unit just to be checked up on different things, but you know, generally speaking, there were no, like nobody was injured. The sheriff said approximately 20 inmates who were the leaders of the uprising have been transferred to other correctional facilities. Meantime, the investigation into the incident continues.